Why did you choose to use ETFs to build portfolios for clients rather than going for an active manager? It's a good question. So, uh, as I mentioned previously, we, we had started researching ETFs many, many years back. And, and the, real, the real thinking behind this was, was pushed by the fact that when we looked at a lot of active manager studies, so there are lots of studies one could read about, for example, SPIVA, which is owned by S&P. If you look at the SPIVA reports, they show both in terms of strategies, large cap, small cap, mid, mid cap, or region, Americas, UK, Europe, Asia, Asia Pacific, they cut and slice and dice the data in different ways. When you look at these studies, it shows that over long, longer periods of time, three, five, ten years, most of the active managers are not beating their benchmark net of fees. Now there are those who do, and I do think there are lots of skilled managers out there, but it's very hard to firstly choose them, problem number one, and then once you've chosen one, how do you know when that manager is no longer going to outperform in the future? And so when do you exit that manager? But there are obviously skilled managers who add, add alpha. But if, if 75, 80% of managers, net of fees over the long term, are not beating benchmarks, the odds are stacked against the average investor in choosing those. Because it's very difficult to choose them, it's very difficult to, to know when to leave them. And I could talk about why there is this issue with a lot of the active managers and, and what happens in my view in the industry. So we thought, you know, let's keep things simple here. We know we want to own the market because we need exposure to equities in particular for the long term because that's what beats inflation. You, you, you can't sit in cash otherwise you won't beat inflation. So you need to take some risk and own risky assets. But let's do so in the most cost efficient manner. And so ETFs allowed us to do that. And that's really one of the core reasons why we chose ETFs. And then because of this boom in ETFs that, that, that in terms of the types of ETFs that exist, sector ETFs, thematic ETFs, smart beta ETFs, etc. We were allowed to express very particular views um, in, a, in a country or a sector or a theme which we could do using an ETF. We didn't have to go and buy an active manager. And keeping costs down is so important. If you look at the compounding effect of saving 1% per annum over 10 or 20 years, the terminal value increases significantly, if, if anyone knows compound maths, and the actual hard cash that you save per annum, if you're saving 1% to 2% per annum by using ETFs, it's hugely beneficial to investors. So, in a way, we have a head start every single year because we are not building portfolios using active managers, we're building portfolios using passive ETFs. And so that's really one of the reasons we chose ETFs.